and hello YouTube, this is JS Mam Smart, and I'm going to tell you another brand new video for tutorials of JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at GIMP and how to create outlined object designs. It's basically when you have any type of image or an icon or an object and you throw it into GIMP and you want to basically have an outlined design of it, and you can even add some glows, some patterns, some really awesome stuff. Now, I did a tutorial on this exact same thing yesterday on this channel however it was in photoshop so for those of you who don't have photoshop hopefully this will help you out and you can do it on gimp because the steps are very similar and for some reason i know how to do it and make it look a lot better on gimp than photoshop i don't know why i don't know if it's because i know how to gimp i know how to use gimp better i don't know if it's because the gaussian blur effect isn't as mass scale effective as as it is in photoshop but um either or here's how to do it on gimp so what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a new document up here file new and let's go ahead and create a 800 by 600 document that should give us this nice little rectangular right here and we're gonna go ahead and go to our desktop here and drag in our controller here because we're gonna be doing this with a controller picture so there we go a bit too big so we're just gonna go ahead and scale it down some like so annoying part about okay that's pretty good that's actually fairly good. So, um, if you haven't noticed yet, on my gaming channel, I basically have a uh, object outline design. You should see a screenshot on my on the screen right now of basically what we're going to be trying to do. Because it is kind of hard to explain what this... I don't know what to call this type of design. I'm calling it outlined object design. But I know it's probably a better name for this. But you'll see that on my gaming channel, on the banner, I have these... I have a controller and a power sign where I basically have the outline of it with a nice blue glow to it. It looks really nice. So that's kind of what we're going to be showing you how to do today. So here's the controller that we have. We have it perfectly sized. Make sure that none of these sides here are going outside of the border here because you'll need that. So we can definitely just go ahead and right click the layer here and click layer to image size because we want to have uh, the layer as big as the canvas here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our magic wand tool here and press outside of the controller. That will create a selection around the controller like that. And what we wanna do then is go to select and go to grow. And let's use five. Uh, maybe wanna do a big bigger. Depending on how big your image is, you may wanna pick different values for your grow. Maybe we'll use 10. Let's try 10. This is basically how big your outline is gonna be. As you see here, uh, the outside here is how big the outline is gonna be. The inside we're gonna basically gonna cut out. So what you wanna do then is uh, control I which will inverse the selection you can also do that by going up to select here uh, or select select here and clicking invert that's what we want to do and then just do control X which you can do also by edit and cut and what will happen is that you basically have the inside of the controller cut out and you have the outside in black now if you don't have let's say it's different colors for you like say I uh, didn't have a black border like this controller had say it's like a gray outline or a mixture of blue and green if you're doing this with a tree it's probably gonna have uh, brown at the bottom and uh, and uh, green at the very top if you want to make it just one color I'm gonna be showing you how to do that right now so this is how you create the outline right and if you want you can take uh, hide the background here if you wanted to I'm gonna keep it for now though so from here on, you can do several things. You can add a texture on top of this. You can change the color of this. You can create a glow. I'm gonna show you how to add a texture. Now I don't have a texture on hand right now with me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up to select, click none. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a quick gradient here. So it's like a texture. Or we could just use a pattern because they do have patterns here, but I forget where the patterns are now. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a quick gradient here and you'll see that it works the same way as if you were to import a picture. Okay, let's just make this gradient a little better like that. Okay, so say this is your texture. Say you just added, say you had a texture from Google and say you just dragged it into GIMP and this is how it looked, right? You have it as a new layer here. Now, how can you get this texture on top of the controller? Well, very easily. What we're gonna do is go to our controller layer right here, which is our outline, our outlined object. Go ahead and right click and click alpha to selection, which will basically create a selection around the outline here. Then go ahead and show your your uh, your, your texture layer and go ahead and press control I to once again inverse, then control X to cut. And you'll see we have this nice looking texture around our controller. And if you wanted to keep it like that, or well, that be the end of the tutorial, you can then just hide the uh, white background and you can literally just save it. 
However, what you can also do is add some nice glows, which I'm going to show you how to do next. Now, um, say you wanted to just have a different color. Say you didn't want to have a texture. Say you want to have a, a base color, right? So we're going to delete this texture right here. And what we're going to do once again is alpha to selection, right click your controller layer, go to alpha to selection right there. Then grab your paint bucket tool. And let's say we want to go, um, I like green. Green's one of my favorite colors. Let's say we go green, a dark green, and then just go ahead and use the paint bucket tool and click somewhere inside the controller. And that will basically turn it all green, right? Now, what we need is another layer. So go down to the layer right here, new layer. You can also go up to, to the layer. Uh, you also go up here, click layer, new layer. Make sure it's transparent. Keep everything else the same. Press OK. And grab this new layer and put it underneath your outline controller layer like that. Now, make sure that you still have a selection around your outline. If you don't have a selection, once again, just go to the control layer, click alpha to selection, and it will come back. What we want to do then here is make sure you're on your new layer that you just created. Doesn't have the controller. Make sure you're on that layer. Go up to select, go up to grow, and grow this by maybe five. Yeah, five is good. And from five, what we're going to do is pick a glow color. And our glow color is going to be a brighter green. Grab your paint bucket tool and just go ahead and fill it in. That will then create a secondary outline of um, of your controller here. This is basically uh, how it is, right? So from here, you basically have uh, three outlines. here. You have the main outline, the dark green, and you have uh, the green at the bottom and the green at the top, right? So from here on, what we're going to do is go up to select and click none. And from here on, make sure you're still on your layer. Don't switch layers. Stay on this uh, stay on this glow layer here. And go up to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And then just go ahead and pick a 45 for this. Depending on how big your picture is, again, if you have a smaller picture, you may need a, a, a less of a value. But for here, we need, we need a pretty, a 45 is pretty good. So then we have this glow. Maybe that's a bit too massive right there. Uh, let's go ahead and go with something a bit smaller, perhaps something like a 35 or a 30. Uh, that's better, I guess. And what we're going to do then is duplicate this layer once. Duplicate it. And you can duplicate this as many times as you want. If you want to duplicate it two times, three times, uh, however you want. And we're going to put one of these on top of the uh you can we can put one of these on top of the actual outline and we can change the mode of this to dodge like that and that gives it that nice glow now you can duplicate the outline several times you can move these layers se around several times if you want to have the dodge layer on top of the outline if you want to have it below the outline if you want to have uh the original glow above the outline just play around with these layers, move them around a bit, s see what you like best, uh, change some of the layer modes right here if you want to change some layer modes. And essentially, that's kind of how to do it. You can then hide your white background here. And say you say you want to change this to black, perhaps. Change it to black, we can do that. Look at that, a nice looking glow there. Uh, like I said, it depends on how you want it to look. Uh, we can easily hide this so we can see the uh, outline a bit more, but you may want to have it on like that, depending on how you want it to look. Uh, if you want to make the if you want to make the green perhaps a little thicker, you can always just if you want to make this perhaps a little thicker. You can just go alpha to selection, right, like that, and you can press select, grow, and then just grow it by say two pixels, and then just fill it in with green again, and you'll basically just you can edit this how you like. But that's kind of the tutorial. That's kind of how to do this, and that is the uh, GIMP equivalent. If you like the tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. Any questions or comments? Feedback if you want to if you know how to make this any cooler go ahead and put any, everything in the comment section below definitely down there answering questions You may have and uh, yeah, that's pretty much this tutorial. Thank you for watching as always plenty of other GIMP tutorials on a channel Lots of uh, tutorials on a channel with different software tutorials like Photoshop with audio editing audacity video editing Movie maker premiere pro lots of cool stuff So if you're into that go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll also have a tutorials channel, a vlogging channel, advice channel, a music channel, and a gaming channel, as well as a Patreon if you want to check all that out. Links are in the description as well as on the end card. And with that, this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.